assalamu alaikum everyone i hope you're having an amazing day so welcome to another video and in this video i will tell you how to set up open core bootloaders step by step so let's get started <laughs> Well, the first thing first, you need to download uh, Olorilla image from Olorilla.com. It's a vanilla Hackintosh. The second thing you need to do is to download the OpenCore 0.6.3. It is the latest version. Okay, as well as once you download your OpenCore, it will look like uh, this. Uh, your EFI will look like uh, uh, this. So you have OC and boot menu. Then uh, you have an open core package you can find your sample dot plist here you need to download proper tree as well to edit your plist once you download uh, you need to open your plist in proper tree like this once it's here so just get back to the dortania guide it's a very good guide it has all the models including amd including uh, ivy ivy bridge sandy bridge and uh, as well sky lake kb lake it's a very good guide you can have it uh, you know it's so you can if you go through it you can easily make your plist so let's do it uh, our plist for uh, dell optiplex 7010 uh, before we go here you i will tell you you need to download uh, ssdt for the power management so here in dortania guide you can see ssdt ec just open it and you will find uh, this page uh, for uh, SSDTs. So once you are here, just choosing the SSDT, you will be heading to uh, the platform. As my system is IV Bridge, you can see here, I can download SSDT-EC. And once I click here, it will let me to this page. Then I will go down, just go down and just use pre-built. Once you are in pre-built, just select SSDT EC dash desktop. You are here, just download this uh, SSDT and you will find your SSDT like this. Okay, so first thing first, what we will going to do is uh, following the guide. So the first thing we have to add is SSDT in ACPI. Uh, we need, we don't need anything else, just uh, uh, remove each and everything from uh, 1 to 10 1 to 12 so just remove all as well uh, and uh, add here ssdt so as i have ssdt dash ec so i will type here uh, ssdt dash ec dot aml okay uh, it should be true <coughs> and path should be the same ssdt ec dot aml once we uh, put our ssdt in the add option just send delete uh, enable should be true uh, for number one as well uh, for both uh, all should be true as well as enable should be true this is what we have to do here we are finished for the delete as well as the uh you know the add function so uh once we finished here we have added our ssdt here so this is our ssdt and uh, in this you can see here so all and enable should be yes if it's not matching with your uh, oem table let's say uh, this is the table so you can add whatever in the guide is there you need to add in your uh, plist so in the patch uh, you should uh, remain it same there is no need to change anything in patch okay close it down uh, in quirks uh, leave as it is no need to change and then booter section booter is uh, one of the important section where uh, it let you uh, it let the computer to boot so leave as it is there is no need to change here even in quirks uh, uh, yes we need to do some changes quirks is a setting uh, related to boot efi patching and firmware fixes so avoid runtime defrag we need to check it's true already and then enable write and protector enable write and protector is true already setup virtual map setup virtual map is true already as well as enable safe mode slide should be true as well as provide custom slide should be true 
once you've done that we have to go to the device properties device properties are usually used for uh, your you know uh, if you have uh, any LAN card or the sound card you need to add the device properties you need to check the device properties online like let's say my system has ALC269 but I already put that in my NVRAM section so I'm removing my device properties but you need to read through it the guide uh, how to add your device properties so I'm removing it from my side okay so kernel in kernel uh, you need to see like uh, add where we specify text to load okay so we need to check our text this is our text which we have to add okay and uh, as you can see uh, lilu text is there in our folder uh, as well as uh, in our pls it's here okay uh, virtual smc is there virtual smc is there in our folder as well so it's already added in our pl list whatever green it helps uh, you to we like to run your graphics card so it's very much needed as well and it's our kex folder here as well apple alc is there if you see here apple alc it uh, helps you to run your sound card and then intel mossy if you have uh, ethernet lan you can have it so let's make it true to enable it uh, number six what we left is uh, usb inject all it helps you it helps your system to run the usb so we will add uh, usb inject all dot text uh, please make sure you write everything in capital the first letters so that uh, it can read it uh, a comment you should delete enable yes exhibit executable path should be same as the top one copy it and then paste and uh, just put here remove intel mossy here as i don't need any other uh, kex so i will remove the sixth one okay so this is our uh, kex we need to add in our kernel section in our plist so we added the uh, kex now uh, block block there is no need to change so keep as it is okay um and emulate emulate uh, see as per the guide the you need to leave it blank so these two uh, options are blank force uh, there is no need to change anything and block has been done patch patch uh, is already there we need to check if we need to add anything no there is no need to add anything in our uh, patch folder so patch is also done quirks quirks uh, you can see here in the guide as per the guide uh, apple cpu uh, cfg the first one should be true disable omapper should be true disable uh, uh, lapic kernel uh, panic lapic kernel panic is here should be true panic uh, no cax dump uh, should be true power timeout kernel panic uh, should be true as well as uh, x hci port limit should be true as well yeah so that's it from the quirk side then uh, scheme should remain same whatever is there we should remain we should not change it so scheme is done as well now it's uh, miscellaneous miscellaneous uh, uh, what we need to change it's mentioned the red boxes boot should remain same there is no need to change boot uh, in debug yes we need to change so apple debug should be yes uh, apple panic should be yes disable watchdog should be yes target should be 67 that's it for this side then security uh, in security um, allow and we ram reset yes uh, allow set default yes scan policy should remain uh, scan policy should remain zero okay secure boot model this is very uh, sensitive part here you need to mention it disabled with the d as well as d capital vault should be optional and o capital uh, if you write disable it will not let you not let your web drivers work and you need your web drivers 
once you're done from the security we are in the tool side tool side uh, uh, leave as it is there is no need to change the tools now uh, we are in nvram this is one of the most important so what uh, we have to do in the third one this 7c4 36110 okay uh, just add minus v to check if you have any issues or not and then uh, you need to check which is your you know compatibility <laughs> debug x100 disables the mac os folder which helps prevent a reboot on a kernel panic okay uh, this is a compassion debug and it's there are some lz9 sorry i'll set equals to one so what i will do as my system the needs uh, as i was using before lilu beta all so i will just write uh, dash lilu beta all as well as alcid equals to 21 as my codec is alc21 and then um, once done um, you need to check what else we need uh, run efi operator should be zero the config csr should be uh, 67 million or 6.7 million it should be like this and uh, <coughs> this one this uh, prev blank khd should be this you need to copy and uh, not here yeah just control a and c your prev language khd should look like this okay uh, this is what we have to add in our nvram okay delete uh, white flash uh, okay we don't have that so leave as it is there is no need to add in the delete section if you don't have anything okay and uh, now platform info platform info i will do later once we finish uh, our config.p list uh, okay so i will leave as it is then it comes to uefi uefi we need to go to drivers in drivers i uh, will remove uh, everything as there is no need for other uh, drivers or hfs plus dot efi and open runtime efi works well so we will add all others all other drivers um, and leave open efi as well as uh, hfs now um, if you see if we have done everything input and everything now we have to check quirks quirks uh, what we have to say yes air is ignore ratio uh, this one should be true rest as well as required boot is already true so rest should be false whatever is there now uh, reserved memory there is no need to change now it's fine this is what we have to do this is the last option and um, in my actual plist i have removed this reserve plist as well as we have done configuring our plist now we have to add uh, you know the sm bios what we have to do is save our config.plist on desktop uh, we will call it uh, config new.plist okay this is our our plist should be here oh i saved it in docs that's why i'm searching where it went so we will save it on desktop here you go this is our plist so we will open uh, smbios generator then run it then we will select uh, option number two uh, select config.plist we will press two and enter then we will drag our plist again enter and then we will say generate smbios enter then i will write because it's a system i will write i mac 18 comma 2 enter as it's injected the uh, you know the serial number the board id the ud id so smbios has been done here okay we can terminate the uh, the 
thing so now we are going for our efi this is our open core efi we are going here open core we will drop our plist and then config.plist this is our plist should be here acpi folder we will put our ssdt which we have already added in our plist then drivers then drivers i have hfs plus efi and which is also mentioned in our plist and then kext the five kecks which i already added in our playlist i need to add this here okay so once it's added uh, your playlist is ready your open core 0.6.3 is ready you will have this kind of folder so just open the folder and select your usb this is my usb so just remove your current uh, efi from the usb delete it and mount from clover configurator mount your usb delete the efi folder there and put the new efi and restart your system then your system will your big server will boot up uh, even if it's catalina it will boot up and everything will be working so this is a short video um, i made how to configure uh, open core 0.6.3 uh, with the config.plist i hope you like the video uh, if it helps please like and subscribe and share among your friends for the better reachability thank you so much and have a great day